four type of vocabulary one is listening vocabulary speaking vocabulary reading vocabulary writing vocabulary all should be nurtured in an effective teachers classroom or this this will leave it but this is four type of vocabulary will be there generally what will happen what we are doing mistake we are doing mistake here we will not care about this we will not care about this only our academic things or they are telling you care about this reading vocabulary only reading vocabulary is not sufficient or is not enough to develop that that much that much uh, capability what is needed to do the good in your exam writing vocabulary again because we are not giving much priority for writing we are giving only priority for any how i should speak the english because speaking itself we are thinking okay that is self a great but speaking only is not sufficient due to many of the iams they are they are not checking your speaking ability in round a round 2 they are checking your writing ability in round 2 they will tell tell you to write essay iam ahmedabad they are not checking your group discussion like group discussion okay in the group you will also five group five person group is there one person is weak also they will anyway they will uh, they will able to cross but they are checking essay writing they are checking wat why because they know written speaking maybe they are from uh, city area or metropolitan area they will able to speak something they will get out but writing you need in depth knowledge you need grammatical knowledge you need how to frame the sentence you need how to put the sentence in coherent way you need how to how to make the cause and effect and you need to conclude your essay or conclude your thoughts do do they will check writing ability but we are not giving focus here you must give a focus the writing practice must be there anything and afterwards whenever you are listening to anybody your boss or maybe your colleagues or whenever you are going to your relatives you give much focus during your listening generally we are thinking these are unnecessary activity you give your focus on listening many of the things you will learn during your listening maybe you will learn many of the things from your your junior or maybe your uh, you can say many of the people whom you are thinking they are not much much level of, compared to you then speaking vocabulary during a speaking you must be careful whenever you are speaking you try to collect the exact words what you can use for any particular circumstances all these if you will be little careful if we will become little careful our vocabulary preparation will start to jump careful only we have to start we have to just start care, you can say we have to become more careful or we have to become watchful our activity either listening speaking reading or writing and afterwards another classification is there like another way we can say it is a tier 1 tier 2 tier 3 tier 1 is words of everyday everyday speech like common very common words tier 2 is high frequency words here we have to give focus for exam purpose tier 3 again it is not much usage for exam point of view but for learning point of view it should be like it is a mainly domain specific or low frequency words or mainly you can say literature side it will be used mainly related to figures of a speech related to different type of dramas related to different type of uh, non fiction fiction or uh, very particular like if you are uh, you are trying to understand psychology then related to psychology you can say around 300 400 particular words will be there that will be only used to understand the psychology if you want to understand economics more than 1000 words will be there that will be only pertaining to the economics or economic activities then this is tier 3 little bit exposure will be needed but tier 1 and tier 2 must be